channel for our first uh, draft of Lost Caverns of Ixalan since the set draft it, dropped on Arena this morning. We, are, we're, we did uh, two trophy drafts in early access, and we are looking to continue the trend here. And we've got, I think, a pretty interesting decision here. Well, how good do you think Treasure Map is? I think it's pretty good. I think it might be the pick. I agree that it's... I mean, I think I mean, it is I, good. I do think a braid is the best common in the set. Okay, I mean, I don't think Deadweight can be far behind for Braid. Yeah, I, I actually don't know which of these two is the best. Yeah, I don't either. Set. But, I mean, Treasure Map is colorless. I think we should take Map mostly because even if a Braid is a better card, there's no way it's better by, like, enough to be right. Yeah. Um, it's kind of my opinion, but if we end up seeming with the format with being the format's really fast, I can imagine regretting this pick, but I don't, like... Yeah. I don't feel like that's... That's not at least currently my opinion. Sure. And, like, I don't know, this can be, well, I guess one in tap. Uh, yeah. Uh, it's a little slow, but it's yeah. but also like all those artifacts matter in this format too. Also, this card impress has impressed me in play. Well, I think the card is good, but I'm not sure we take it over. Oh, like, a I, I definitely wouldn't take it over uh, a braid or dead weight. Um, okay. What does Curator of Sun's Creation do? Oh, whenever you would discover, discover twice. I have no idea how good that card is. Yeah, that's really I'm not card. particularly interested in it. Okay. Um, this one is not that you need things to explore, right? Well, yeah, but it is a signpost in common. I mean. I imagine we should take Vile's Hot Wonder. Okay, I think honest. that's what I want to take, yeah. Um, I'm sort of quickly coming up on this card. It just seems really, really nice to me. Also, I don't like how similar this card looks to the Gem Guard. That is, I think, a very reasonable criticism. Um, but yeah, I just want to take the Wonder Glyph, I think. I mean, yeah. the current Conductor is obviously good. Definitely yeah. not, not crazy to take it. But I want to just take the single color great card. And, and like, I don't know, Treasure Map makes a lot of game objects for our game object, object tribal deck, you know? Like, it all sort of fits together here, right? Yep. Okay, uh, great question about the candle sponsor. Hold on, let's do this pick first. This is, okay, so there's a lot I like here. This card impressed me in early access. And that card's definitely good. This card impressed me in early access. We could just take another one. We could take Deadweight. I don't really want to take the white card. Really? Okay. I don't think it's, I think we're going to another color. We should take a better card. Okay. I mean, I think this card is very, very good. Well, I also think it's good. And it goes well with the Wander Glyph. Though I don't hate just taking second Wander Oh, God. It seems really tough, I think. I mean, I guess in red, blue, Counselor of Echoes probably isn't that great. Yeah. Mm. Maybe we're supposed to take Deadweight. I don't know. I, I sort of prefer Deadweight to Light Card. Maybe that's wrong. We can take... I'm down to take Deadweight. Wow. I think it's, this is a really tough pick. I think I would take Deadweight, but I'm not confident. Okay. I mean, there is just another dead weight here. Yeah, I mean, we the staunch crewmate's obviously good if we'd gone for a more piratey direction. Yeah. But I, I assume we just take dead weight and we'll figure I it out. I think I just want to take dead weight and figure it out. I mean, I even think like Zoetic Glyph is, I think, maybe pretty good. Sure. But I think we should just take dead weight. I mean. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Today's candle sponsor is this lovely honey almond candle from Huntington Home Brand. Um, with, um, yeah, that was given to us by friend of the stream, Zach Kagan. Because last time we said we were going to use his other candle, and then we never did. And here it is. I think I want to take Tithing Blade. Okay. I don't think that's insane. What do you want to take? I'm not, I don't know. I was trying to think it through. I mean, how good do you think Vanguard of the Rose is? I am a not so sure about Vanguard of the Rose. I'm not sure it's better than Tinker's Tote, to be honest. Okay, I also think D Didact Echo wouldn't be insane. But I think I'd rather take the Tithing Blade. Than you just think it's not enough better and it's the same yeah. color. Yeah, I mean, that's reasonable. Mostly because I think we are going to be black. And I think Plumbering point. Pirate is also fine. But sure, I think we should, I probably take, I think we should probably take Tithing Blade. Mostly I think black is our main color at this point. We're not that... And you think that card's better than Echoes of Dusk, I assume? Uh, yes. I, I do. I don't know for sure, but... What is Wealth Forgotten? Whale of Fun? Descend 8. Choose, choose 1. Oh, okay. Okay, so it's, so it's not that... So it's, it's a bounce spell? Okay. It's a sorcery speed bounce spell, or you make him discard, which is quite bad, or anticipate. But if you have Descend 8, it's very strong. I mean, I imagine we just shouldn't take it. I think not. Okay. Should we take a second Volatile Wander Glyph, or should we take Sage of Days? Or Echo of Dusk? I don't think Mischievous Pop is the pick. I don't think so either. I think this card might be enough better than these two that I just want to take it. Okay. I mean, that's sane. It's, it's, gonna, it's putting our deck in a weird place. Like, I don't know what Red Black really does in the format. I guess it's like Descend Aggro. Yeah. Which, to um, be fair, goes well with what we're doing. 
Yeah, that's true. Like I like this is a descend aggro card, right? Yeah, I mean like the Wanderglyph and the Tiffin like actually looks great in our deck, to be honest. It, it does, although to be fair, I we were really impressed by this card in early access. Yeah. But I'm pretty down to just take it. Take I mean it. I I do think there's a chance blue is open, but I we maybe we should take this. We might not miss this that much. I sort of think we should. Okay. But I sort of think that the Sage Days into this is like is yeah. like a signal, and the signal is that we should draft blue, and like we're, we're just like I don't know, flagrantly ignoring what we're being told to some extent. Sure. Song of is the bad one, right? Uh, yeah. It's a minus X? Okay, yeah. Yeah. Do you want another Tithing Blade? Do you want to hit a Necropolis? Do you want a Land Cycler? I have no two. I think I want one of these two, and I don't know which one. I would just take Tithing Blade, I think. Okay. I mean, our deck is kind of coherent. We're just, like, killing everything in a controlling deck. It's like, wow, Twisted Turn's just fucking wield. You can take it if you want. I don't know. <sighs> Yeah, I think I do want to take it. I mean, we don't really know our second color. We're yeah. Black X. Black X Grindy Deck with Treasure Map is, like, where we're at. And this is great in Black X Grindy Deck with Treasure Map, I think. We still need a white and a green card. Well, we got it. There's one of them. That wheeling seems insane to me. I agree. I, mean, I was wondering if we're I supposed think we should to take, take the other one. Because this one might wheel. Well, but now... Okay, but now what if we're, like, Sultai Control Explore? Yeah. Like a classic archetype. Yeah, I mean, we could take Ray of Ruin for the record. Yeah, we're, we're going to get a Ray of Ruin. Okay. We're not just going to be like, at the end of the draft, man, I really wish we had that Ruin. <sighs> that is insane. And I'm tilted. Which one do you, I mean, I assume we should take this. This whole thing is insane. Anyway, take Vile the Wonder Love, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I do think that card would be very good enough. We have a lot of artifacts, actually. Right? Uh, well, that's true. So, I mean, definitely we should take it. I don't know I don't know what, where we're at right now, chat, okay? But I think our deck is good no matter what. Right. We just have a lot of good cards, and they happen to be in different colors. But they also all kind of play together. Yeah. Like, the way I feel is, like, we're black, X, and all our cards are good. Yeah. And they all synergize. Oh, wow. I, I kind of want to take Dynac Deco. I'm down to take Dynac Deco. Yeah, okay. I mean, I... I okay. I mean, I sort of think we're most likely to be abandoning 3X Wanderglyph. Yeah. But... It doesn't seem like Red's actually open. It seems like people don't know how good Wanderlust is, is my current read on the situation. How do you feel about that read? I think that is an accurate read. Okay. If that's true, then I'll bring it on the presumption. Then, hmm, what does that imply? Well, the issue is the best card in this packs are like red and white cards, right? Yeah. Which we don't really want to take. Right. <laughs> um, I mean, we could take Defossilum. We could take this in case we end up back in red, because this is, I think, the best card in the pack. Um, well, actually, I think Kellen is the best card in the pack, but... Yeah, but I think taking Kellen is, is kind of unhinged. It's pretty unhinged, yeah. I mean, I think the other option would be to take a green card because it explores. But I guess that card's really bad for the issue. I mean, this explores twice, famously. Oh, that's true. We can take that card, honestly. That sounds pretty reasonable. It doesn't look great in our deck right now, but we'll figure it out. We also like self-mill a bunch. Yeah. Whoa. Oh, that's the one that brings back vampires. Okay. I mean, I don't know how many vampires we're going to have, but it also doesn't need to be that many for that card to be fucked up. Yeah, I mean, you need at least, like, if it's just a 5-mana five 5-4, five it's pretty bad. Like, I'm not sure is, it's better than... Echo of whatever a uh, vampire? Like, what common... Echo of Dusk. Yeah. Hmm. I, but I think that's, like, the only... Black, blue vampire? Well, at least the only one in this archetype, I think. Or okay. the only one that I can think of. Okay. Um, so you just want to take Inverted Iceberg is what you're telling me? I think I do want to take Inverted Iceberg, yeah. I'm okay with that. Um, I hope it's not like a huge mistake. Uh, I mean, yeah. I mean, we could take this and try and get some vamps. I might speculate on it. Okay, I'm down to speculate. It feels like the upside's really high and the downside's not very high. Okay. Which one's this? It's really weird. It seems pretty good, actually. Maybe. God, we have so many random artifact game objects. Yeah. Uh, I mean, we could take it. I don't think it's crazy. It's probably that or the Nautilus. Yeah, I don't... I, the Nautilus has kind of looked good to me, though. Oh, has it? Well, it's just an artifact two-drop that fits well in controlling deck. It's a 1-4. It blocks really well. You yeah. Know? I mean, what, what, what's, what's there not to like, you know? You can take Visage. I would take Visage, I think. Okay, you should put all the Wander Glyphs on our sideboard at this point. They're gone. The yep. green cards aren't gone. Cool. Yeah, I mean, I think the Thoughtseize might be bad. Oh, okay. 
but I don't know. I kind of, um, I want to try it. Okay. Two is a big number. Is, Two is, is a big is, number. Is, is the main thing about it. Yeah. But I do, the flip side is kind of great. Yeah, and I mean, I it, guess we have, like, defossilized. We don't have that, mm, okay, maybe that was wrong, sorry. It was wrong, put it in the sideboard, it's fine. No, I'm going to keep it in the deck for now. Okay. Hmm. You know, I don't know what's going on with the green cards over there for now. They're, they're hanging out. Let's, like, put them over here. What does that thing do, that... That four four? It's a it's 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 cave mole drifter. Uh, okay, bizarre card. I mean, we have no cave synergies. We do have. Boy, that card is really strong. It's very strong if you have two or more caves in play. I mean, I, I think sort of it, think we should take it because what if we take it over? I mean, we would take it over this, which is good with defossilized, but I still think I want to take this. Card. I want to take it and risk it, yep. and we'll see what caves we can get. Okay, I mean, yeah, we should probably take that card. I, I, I mean, there's a cave in this pack, but it's a pretty bad cave. Yeah, I want to take Waterwind Scout. Yeah. Okay, at this point, it's possible that Crinkhead Trinkhead turns are on our sideboard. Uh, oh yeah, I agree. It sort of seems like we haven't really moved on that. Two is one of the biggest numbers. Yeah, that's actually true. Fun fact, chat. Do, do you realize that there are million, literally millions of numbers less than it? Wait, that's a vampire. This guy? I think so. You could take the, the vein, but I don't really want to do that. Um. Okay. I'm going to keep sorting our deck by mana cost. Well, guy, I mean, if you've seen one, you've actually also seen one of the biggest numbers. What if you've only seen numbers less than negative 50 billion? Mm. Uh, I don't think mine card's bad, but if we're trying to play Queen's Bay Paladin, we have to take vampires, yeah. is my feeling. And I kind of would like to play Queen's Bay Paladin, because, like, I don't know, I read it. Um... How do you feel about the argument of I don't know I read it? It's a good argument. Big card reader over here. Greg, let me ask you an important question. Which of the cards in our deck would you say most resembles classic Lost Caverns Epsilon card, Fable of the Mirror Breaker? Hmm. Good question. It might be Inverted Iceberg. Wait, which one's Volatile Fault again? Uh, it's, um... Yeah, everything is 100 words now. Wait, it's this. Which one's Bane, then? That's Bad Evolving Wilds. Oh, we should take Bad Evolving Wilds. I think we should take Bad... I love Bad Evolving Wilds. Uh, This one's bad, right? I think so. I'm yeah. not sure. Okay, yeah. I, I am not a big fan. Yeah, I, I that is definitely true. All the cards have 100 majillion words now. That just is life in the big city. Ooh. I really like Brackish Blunder. I know that we do want to take Vampires, but... I assume we should take Brackish Blunder. I want to take Brackish Blunder. It's too good, right? I think so. Are any of the cards in full Dothic Woodworker-esque? For the record, my, my answer on the Fable question was going to be Waterwind Scout. Okay, I was wondering about Tipping Blade. That's somewhat re reasonable, yeah. Yeah. Are any cards in your pool Dothy Voidwalker-esque? I, I, yeah, I'm just, I'm just not sure. I don't know what any, if that, that any of them are. Why is Kellen in the pack? Good question. I might take it. I, the black, what does the black card do? It eats artifacts? Wait, maybe that's good. That, that card is not bad in our deck. Okay, I think we should take it. I think Vito's Inquisitor is also a vampire. Yeah, that is the main reason I took it. Nar? I guess we have a ton of random fives. I think we should take Micronid or Out of Thin Air. Okay, I think I want to take Out of Air. Notably, I think we should cut this Defossilize. Wait, I, I kind of want to take Micronid. Are we really good at Descending? Yeah, but it's they, they can't block. Yeah, I mean, that's true. Okay, you can take Out of Thin Air. Okay. Two is much smaller than 100 majillion. Yeah, but I said negative 100 majillion. It's put into a... So we have to sack this? We can't craft with it? That's, like, pretty awkward. Yeah, but I think you should still take it because it's over nothing. Yeah, agreed. It is weird that it's worded that way, though. Hmm. White does seem to have been s slightly open this draft. <laughs> and when I say slightly, I, I don't mean slightly. You can take that. Mm, I'll take Unlucky Drop. It might be less likely to make our deck. You can, I mean... I could imagine... I'm going to keep it in for now. Okay. It's Big Raptor! Big Raptor! I love Big Raptor. I mean... I don't... You know... Oh, I love Busy Beaver numbers. Oh, my God. <laughs> They're my literal favorite. That's not even a joke. That's true. I, I talked to... Wait, isn't the 2-3 quite good? The one that reanimates creatures? Oh, I guess so. 
Um, I mean, it's just, like, works really nicely with the cycling things. Like, how yeah. the car is going well, over them. Well, we notably don't have any cycling things, but... Yeah, I know. But I might take it still. Okay. I mean, this kind of works well with the cycling things, too. Although it's really... Okay, let's take the 2-3. I want to take the 2-3. Um, uh, Echo? I mean, I think this card is good. Although it might be bad in our deck. I wonder if this is what we're supposed to take, even though I hate this card. Oh, we have a hundred twos. I want to take Didactico. Okay. Mm -mm. Our deck is just all two drops. I, I don't know. Wow, our red white deck would be a bang. Also, this card is really messed up. I agree. Is it time for another discussion of my favorite game, Who Can Write the Biggest Number? I love the game, Who Can Write the Biggest Number. It's literally one of the greatest games ever made. I'm going to take this drawing the dead. So to be clear, chat, I gotta explain this chat. It's real. It's really important. By which I mean unimportant, but our yeah. math's here, so it plays. Sure. So the, the classic game of who can write the bigger number, which is not even remotely original to me. I read this in a random article like years ago. Yeah. But the game is two players start, they're given a set amount of time, say a minute. Both players can write anything they want. At the end of a minute, modern mathematicians will evaluate whatever is written on both papers, and whoever has written a larger number wins. Mm. And you can write anything you want. As you may have guessed, this game is extremely skill intensive. It is very unlikely. Uh, <laughs> yeah. That 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 the that the players I was wondering about will win. what he wrote plus one. What he wrote plus one. I do not believe modern mathematicians would consider that to be valid. Mm, as a modern mathematician, wait. Okay, I do want to take this. Although there is a cave. Yeah, we have to take Waterman Scout though, okay, right? I agree. Also, the real plot twist is is that then then it's it's revealed your opponent comes out behind the screen and they're not a he, and then you mm. get really boomed. Yeah. Um, <laughs> well, infinity is frankly is famously not a number, therefore would not that would not be valid. Whoa. Also, what would it mean? Also, it, it is provably the case that there are infinitely many infinities, and therefore there is no sense in which there is a largest possible one. What even is a number by your definition then? Anyway, uh, what do you want to take here? We uh, could... what about the guy that procs when you descend? Is that card kind of good in our deck? Is there that kind of good descending? It's pretty good at descending, I think, although it is a little, like, not on game plan. Well, yeah, but what else would we take? We could take this in the idea that, like, if we happen to get two or three more caves, we might play it. God, we're just so far from that. I just uh, don't think it's gonna happen. Okay. So, oh, no, 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 Armath, you can write anything that would be evaluated by mathematicians. So, for, so let me give you an example. Here, here's, here's, a, here's a naive strategy. You could write 9 to the power of 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 9. That would be valid. 9 is... that, that a, ma a master could, could assess that. I'm going to take Offering. Well, Affinity is still not a number. So so that, that doesn't work. Well, it depends how you define number, to be honest. But Yeah, you know how I define number. So, so, so basically, like, you don't have to write, like, digits. By the way, you have to write something that... A set of functions or... Yeah, for the record, how, how do you define number? Uh, well, Greg, let's start from zero. <laughs> okay. It's off the, the, oh, wait, oh, wait, do you start I, at one, actually? Wait, that's I can't remember. That's a great way to start. Wait, which one's this? Hmm. I think we might play this. Oh, it, this game is very skill intensive. It, the better plan almost always wins. Anyways, I'm going with this. I'm going, I'm going somewhere with this. So you might start with the strategy of right nine to the power of 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 nine. Very naive strategy. Then, after that, you, you realize you can go 9, up air notation 9, up air notation 9, up air notation 9, so on. Yeah. Better strategy. Also, it might be better to write 1s than 9 because you might be able to write them faster, but that's not a hair there because you write sure. lines. But th that's, that's, that's kind of irrelevant. Yeah, I, I actually also agree with this comment that you know it when you see it. Another would, chance. Another chance. I did almost take another chance the last time we had this pile of cards. What do you mean? There's a way to do one. Modern Mouth will, will assess it. Th th that's the way. I described how. <sighs> yeah, that's incredibly respectful. Do you, are, are we supposed to take this? We might play it. I don't know. We just have 100 twos. We, we don't want the explorer guy. Yeah. And we don't want this. Mm -mm. And then another... You know, this, this cave room is making our deck, by the way. I know. Um, We can take the kills, but we might play it. I don't think we will. But... It is our second one. I'm going to put it over here. Um. Anyways, here's what you should know about this game. Here's what I believe to be the best stratagem. There may be a better one. Sure. But, okay, so what a busy beaver number is, is a busy beaver number is basically on a Turing machine of fixed size n, a busy beaver number is the maximum number of steps it can take that Turing machine to go through, like, out of all Turing machines of that size. So it's like how much your Turing machine can, like, sit around doing nothing before it terminates. 
So it sort of provably goes faster than any other paradigm because if you had another paradigm that was faster, then that would be simulatable. A lot of like you see where I'm going with this. Yeah. So the situation is that a good strategy is to write B B of whatever, and then right below it, defining B B as the the nth busy beaver number for whatever. And I believe the strategy is very unlikely to be defeated. Okay, I think we didn't get there on this card. I think we should cut it. Mm. And I think we should cut this vampire. Well, is the vampire just good in our deck? I mean, I guess we do have, like, random artifacts. Okay, wait. This, I don't believe in, I think. Okay, sure. But, like, we have two Tithing Blades and Invert Iceberg and, like, Treasure Mavic things. We have these things and, you know. Mm, okay. I mean, actual beavers are very underrated in terms of their intelligence. Um, I don't... I sort of want to play the Queen's Blue Platinum because, like, my kind of question is, like, what percentage of the time do you think it has to hit to be good? Yeah. I bet it's not that high. Okay. Do you want to cut Thoughtseize? Yeah. Okay. Also, I cut Defossilize a while back, but I think that was right. I mean, Defossilize is really not bad in our deck, but it's not great either. Yeah. Maybe Cave Worm? Yeah. Uh, maybe we could cut Random Menace Guy? I don't hate cutting Random Menace Guy. We could cut this Puzzle Door. Oh, cut the Puzzle Door, yeah. Okay, wait, did, is there anything that I left that's bad? I mean, Out of Thin Air is pretty whatever, but I think this is fine. Yeah, do I want to play more Islands because of Out of Thin Air? I guess not. Does the Viper do anything in our deck? Well, not oh. really. I mean, it is a 3 mana 2-3, so, like, can only be so bad, but maybe we should cut the Viper, actually. We cut the Viper, maybe, actually, make the make Viper just the Zen guy, the 3 mana Zen guy. Okay, yeah. That, like, has to be better, right? I think so. Okay, I'm in. This deck's very medium. Yeah, I, I feel like we did not find the right lane. Yeah, I mean, I think we're supposed to be red and white. So, there's that. Yeah. You still have your answer to this game at seven? Strong answer. Great answer. That I, is, that... I, a mathematician, believe that you picked the biggest number. <laughs> Greg, I have a question. Uh-huh. What if I argued you weren't a mathematician? You'd be wrong. <laughs> well, wait. You haven't made an argument yet. What if I define mathematician as one who currently professionally practices mathematics? What do you think I'm doing right now, but professionally practicing mathematics? <laughs> nice, nice, nice. <laughs> I'm getting paid cents for this work I'm doing for Twitch. <laughs> what do you want to play next turn, assuming they like don't do anything? Probably just this. Uh, I guess so. W what is our opponent doing? No. Yeah, I mean, I guess Waterwind Scout. It seems like Sage of Days is weird here because we don't really know what we want. Yeah. So we kind of want to like delay the decision a turn. Yeah, I, I like this. I mean, I want to put creatures in the bin for another chance. Wow, we put creatures in the bin for another chance. Nice. Whoa! Work. Oh. It, it it has to be equipped to give a count. Hmm, nice. Okay, I mean, I assume we slam Sage of Days. I think Probably so. put a land on top. And then draw it. Yeah, I mean, we could keep that around Fanatical Offering. Yeah, but we can... <laughs> <laughs> what would you say you were a we could get. We could try to get him. <laughs> I want to draw it. Why? Tell me. It's drawing a card. Yeah, I mean... We'll find... We I, I like... Want to cast this next turn? We will cast like... the next turn if we don't draw it. You're arguing that we need to draw the card below it. Yeah, well, I, I do want to draw the card below it. We'll have I'm in no card. rush to draw that card. Like, what but if we later just... our explorer might not get a card. But we can always set final offering, so we'll always get a card. I, well, I think we'll find a way to make our final offering be good. You, you just, like, aren't worried about that? Yeah. Eh, okay, fine. I don't really know if this is right, but it is interesting. Mm -mm. It is annoying that this trigger is uh... the, the number of non-trivial zeros of the Riemann Zeta function. Oh, mm, that's great. Hey, Mac, thanks for the resubscription! Mm -mm. Yeah, I do. I admit I don't know what real what Mathers would do if there's no way to evaluate which is larger. <laughs> I do appreciate your methodology, though, of attempt to make the game unwinnable by either side. 
Okay, mm. so this is going to get... this. Deku's going to matter this game update. Yeah. We should good. start thinking about it immediately. Good point. Anyway, let's attack and play a 5-2. Even though that puts a creature in their bin for another chance? Yeah, I mean, what are we going to do? Never attack and do it? I, like, I, I don't know. I think they're another chance is going to get Val. Yeah, okay. And I guess it's a thing that they, like... Man, I'm shocked they didn't block, to be honest. But yeah. I guess they want to equip. Time to nest some busy functions? Yes, exactly. Matt gets it. The beavers that call lodges. Oh, yeah, that's true. Mm. Time to lodge some busy functions. Mm -mm. <laughs> God. M M Miniature Catfish is really killing it today, honestly. Well, they played that card that we thought was bad. Oh, that it gets vigilance? That thing is vigilance? Sure does. Greg, I'm going to level with you. I have no idea what their equipment does at this point. <laughs> well, it gives it vigilance, and whenever an artifact or creature is put into the grave from the battlefield, it gets a counter. Okay. I mean, I think I just want to attack and replay this. Yeah, I like that. Combos with Magda? Wait, how does it come with Magda? Because it gives Vigilance and Magda likes to tap, so it's an anti-synergy. Well, you can just attack and then you can attack <laughs> the Magda credit. That's that synergy right there. Mm, yeah. Is it an artifact that you can find? Did you know Magda has a text about finding artifacts in your deck? Unsure your Magda expert told you. Hmm. Nice. Oh, because when you, you, you like equip to Magda, then you attack and make an artifact, and you sack the artifact, and you counter the idea? Okay. I, I guess that does work. Yeah, Beaver Effect is a common topic. I'm special pretty thing. down to block. Oh, yeah, I block. What could go wrong? Like, they could combat trick us? Like, we don't really care. It's a Primordial Nar. Oh, yeah, the, the Primordial Nar believers, by the way, right now are we are feasting. Ooh. Look! Another map we can use! Yeah, yeah, that's true. But Greg, maybe we need to hold Fanatical Offering to get him. We do need to hold it to get him. Look at all these other cards we can play. Okay, should we attack for five? I mean, definitely. And then play the, the vamp? Yeah, and if they have a rule spell, we'll get him. Nice. Yeah, it is true that none of the other five drops, not at all, which is really a, a tragedy. Wow, they are in that so much trouble. Wait, Greg, I have a question. Uh-huh. Do you think they're going to get another chance to come back into the game? No, I think they're going to play this and we're going to immediately join the dead in an attack for lethal. Uh, so what you're telling me is they are going to join the dead? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you just resolve the discovers an app nap? Yeah, basically. Yeah. Mm-mm. <laughs> Great unhinged comment. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, are you aware there's actually infinitely many numbers that 8 is good against in the metagame? You have to hope that it beats Andrew's strategy by the mathematician being too lazy. <laughs> well, it's not a matter of laziness. They could just, like, look up a lower bound. <laughs> wow. Decking is going to be a factor in this game, just so you know. <laughs> Quote, well, and many Andrew Allen Vogans have said this. Okay, the thing about decking being a factor, Greg, is it's a little complicated. <laughs> yeah, Cl Clarm's strategy was destroyed. <sighs> More than half the time, eight wins. Well, that's a little complicated. <laughs> also, so I really like that our opponent was named whatever elephant, and their avatar is just the elephant. Mm, our last uh, opponent? Yeah. <laughs> Dude, this is possibly the greatest quote of all time on our stream. Yeah. It's so good. The thing is, I'm just a real good beats appreciator, whether I'm delivering or receiving them. Yeah. And this, these are some good fucking beats. Anyways, uh... Are we finally going to cast something Blade after hyping it up for literal years? Yeah. Spoiler alert, I think Iceberg's better. Yeah, me too. Nice. But we didn't know that then. Yeah. The main thing I learned from the entire experience is that predicting shit is hard. Predicting shit's so hard. Hmm. They're going to take our Waterwind Scout, presumably? 
Probably. But we can just, like, start... We just, yeah, play treasure map and activate it. We might take like... map. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, I think we should treasure map and activate it. Fearlessly. I don't even know... I guess we can attack and then do it on their turn. It's, it's instant, right? Oh, yeah. This card was made, like, ten years ago. There's no way it's sorcery only, you know? Yeah. <laughs> they didn't understand the concept of sorcery speed cards back then. It's see uh, that this is honestly something I really like is that old magic cards all trigger as many times you want per turning can be used any time. Yeah. And new magic cards all trigger once per turn and can only use the sorcery. Yeah. That's how you can tell how old the magic card is. Also, they have like a hundred words on them now, but that don't don't worry. Wait, about this that one part. has I guess this has a lot of words. Uh I kind of don't want to draw that. Is that insane? Maybe that's insane. So I think it's sane. I think it might be right. To bottom it? I would kind of like to draw a play for this turn. Yeah, or a swamp. Yeah, I think you can bottom it. Okay. That's fine. Do you want to scry? Do you want to upkeep scry? Mm, I probably wouldn't do that. Okay. God, Ice Cauldron is, 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 is a great counterexample, admittedly. It's fine. Attack. Yeah. And then when they go to kill it, we'll get him. Well, they even did go to kill it, and now we're going to get him. Greg, this is the moment you dreamed of. I'm so excited. Do we want to scry before we draw? I think so, yeah. Because I'd like to draw a land pretty badly, right? Yeah, we just probably will, though. But we, like, what, like, what if we don't? <laughs> Counter out, yeah, like. Oh, yeah, we definitely don't want that. Very wise. Did you like that I hit you with the what if we don't? God, we just got him. Wow. <laughs> well, I now regret bottoming that island, but... Out of all the decisions we've ever made in our magic careers, I wouldn't say this one has worked out the best. Yeah, agreed. But it's fine. Our treasure map's, like, about to flip. Yeah. Arena needs partners with Goblet Game. Does it? Do you think if we have to have 256 like Wheel of Misfortune? <laughs> that is a good question. See, the thing about Goblin Game is that IRL, you're really limited by the number of objects. Mm -hmm. Like, you just like, it's actually really annoying to just like get 200 objects. Like, I've never tried this, but like, it's not very easy. <laughs> mm, these tipping blades are looking pretty bad. <laughs> yeah, I mean, to be fair, it is possible that they are bad, which is why they look that way. Uh, do you want to scry right now? I kind of do. do. Yeah. I mean, we're just bottoming like any non land, so it seems pretty good. Great. That's fine. Yeah, I mean, I think I would just. I think I might just kill everything they have. Like, it's like dead weight, dead, the one, two, and sack, yeah. Yeah. Mm, yeah. Yeah, very respectable assessment, Clarm the Great Mistake. Also, I didn't notice your latest name, but it's great. It is great. Wait, how do we know there's a lot of ones? Oh, that they explored they it? They just explored it. And I don't think I want to trade two treasures for it. No, 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 no. That seems quite bad. Mm. See, this is great because now they think we don't have any more Tipping Blades. They, they've been baited, so now we can outsmart them. Yeah. The real tech with Kamu is Hydra Chief based on the battlefield as part of resolving Goblin game. Yeah, that's great, Armav. I think Chidi Face is an incredibly fun card, legitimately. I would like to say I think it's a slam dunk design. So do you want to... I, I want to start drawing. Yeah, let's draw. Nice. Tithing Blade? I think and so. Echo? Echo? Yeah, yeah. At some point, we should like craft our Tithing Blade, but we're not really there yet. And having two of these things is quite a clock. I know. Oh, wait, do you want to explore? Well, I, th I was thinking that... Oh, oh, we might craft with it. Oh, wait, we can't, right? Isn't it craft creature? Oh, it is craft That's like creature. Not... So yeah. I, I, guess we, I guess I do want to explore then. Yeah. Nice. I like how all this is going. Greg, would you say we wanted a land or a spell there? That's a legitimate question. I don't know. Uh oh. Oh, we should probably counter that, right? Well, it would cost us two cards. I mean, I get that we kind of get two cards. 
Uh, I think I want to. You want to counter it? Yeah. I do too. But it is definitely close. Yeah. Basically, we're converting our two treasures to them not having a 3-2 and us having roughly a 3-3 lifelink. Yeah. Um, which... You've tried to get your LG just run a cheating allowed FNM when you do whatever you want, you can get away with. Uh, I, I think that will not function. <laughs> Mostly because what you can get away with, I think, may be poorly defined. I'm pretty down to craft the Fitting Blade, I think. Although maybe we just another chance, actually. I think I want to another chance. Actually, yeah, let's another Worst chance. case, we just get these two back, yeah, right? I think, I'm in, you're right, that makes this sense. This make, oh, let's see. Uh, that's fine. Mm-mm. So, like, 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 for example... Here... And I am going to mill. Yes. And then let's just get them both. Yep. Nice. And then just, like, what, like, play the Waterwind Scout? And maybe even just, like, sack the thing on itself? I don't hate playing the crewmate and leaving... Eh, oh, no, fun. wait. Actually, I guess playing the crewmate is nice because we're able to play what we find, too. Yeah. Hmm. Mm, let's play this, I think. Okay, yeah. And explore onto the Echo? I think so. Well... It's closer than we want to explore to, but yeah. Well, I like that if we hit a non-creature, we could bin it and then attack for four with lifelink. That's true. Okay, I mean, I like that. It's fine that we're going to hit a land, Greg. We all know we're going to hit a land, right? Okay, top. Yeah. Well, notably, that's not a permanent. Yeah. So, so like, 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 one of my concerns with, with like, the how to get away things is, is yeah, like, like, what do you do if my cheat is, no matter what happens, I report the match result in my favor? Ooh. And then if you're like, no, that isn't what happened, I'm like, yes, it is. And then, like, I don't really understand how you resolve the situation. Mm, yeah, that's not a great situation. Like, it seems very dangerous. Um, but, like, 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 kind of whatever you, you can kind of do whatever you want. It's very hard to beat the strategy of I submit the match result to in my favor, no matter what you do. Um. <laughs> yeah, it is true that now the entire tournament will be we argue over what happened in matches. <laughs> and we see who can be more convincing. <laughs> see, it's important, by the way, in this sort of tournament to make sure you can remember a lot of very made-up details regarding the game. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, just be like, oh, yeah, like, what happened is my opponent attacked with three creatures, I blocked one, and they traded, I played a recruiting spell, got them both back, played them again, it was a long board stall, but I eventually grabbed them out from the card advantage from that. Like, you gotta have, like, a detailed story ready, you know? Ah, that one. But what does it mean to catch you, is kind of my question. Like, that's, that's my, that, that, that's, I think, my main concern. Like, what does catching you mean? Like, for example, like, what if my strategy was every time you take a game action, I accuse you of cheating? And the point is that if you happen to cheat, then I probably caught you, right? I, I have a lot of concerns about the cheating allowed tournament, let's put it that way. Okay, I want to start with this. Yeah. I mean, he's not going to tap your treasure cards ever, though. Yeah, so. I have learned that. <laughs> and I really want to, like, they're going to deadweight onto the scout, and I want to blunder it. That's kind of... Boo! Oh, that's pretty unlikely. That's a pretty artifact count. You want to blunder it. Because they put dead weight on top, right? So okay. I want to like... So then you want to attack first. So yeah, I definitely want to attack. Yeah, okay. And probably just play Echo of Dusk. Catching is like numbers you know when you see it. Gotcha. And then do we want to hold the land in case of Snail? Oh, that makes some sense to me. Yeah, we don't really need the land. Yeah. I like that. <laughs> mm -mm. Yeah, I, I'm basically in general worried that these these terms are are not well defined. Huh. Oh, I wonder. Oh God, they're gonna get back the chupacabra. Yeah, I mean that isn't my favorite thing that's ever happened. Yeah. Okay. This game might go to decking. Mm. Okay. I think let it die. Yeah, that, that thing's going to be a tithing blade in a second. Yeah. They're going to shoot the water wind scout, you think? Yeah. Yeah, this seems like worth our bounce, but we get like a million maps. Yeah. Do you think we're going to find what we're looking for? Mm, probably. Probably. 
So land scout flip. Yeah, I like that. Mm, I don't think I want to attack. I don't think so either, yeah. Cool. Okay, I mean, our opponent does have this 4-3, but, like, I think two Tithing Blades will race that as long as we don't get, like, too far from the end of the race. Yeah. We also can, at some point, like, try to, like, make our Kermita 3-2 to just block. Yeah. Which we have, like, two attempts at, so it's, like, pretty likely to work. Yeah. Something I didn't think about about Snail, by the way, is Snail's probably just, like, worse in the Explore format. Hmm. That's a good point. Like, that, that, it, that like kind of is true, right? Because people are just, like, more likely to have, like, random lands at hand. Yeah. Hmm. All right. Greg, how do you feel about the statement, 3-2 is the perfect creature sizing? Mm. The greatest creature sizing of all time. Five out of seven is... Uh... Uh-oh. I assume that card is scary. What does the transform type do again? We, we played against this the other day, but I don't remember what it, we actually learned. Wait. Oh, no. We just exiled our vampire. <laughs> <laughs> that is savage. Yeah. I think we just need to join the dead at this. I think we just want to flip Tithing Blade and join the dead, probably. Although, wait. Can we explore first? Four, uh, eight. Yes. We can explore once. Uh, Yep. I mean, that's kind of good. I think it's okay. Yeah. So we have to play this. Join the dead, the flyer. Yeah, and then I would just flip the Tithing Blade, I think. Do you want to attack for three? Well, I think I actually do, right? Because we have two Tithing Blades going now. Yeah. So just like, all trading of Lytos kind of benefits us. Yeah. Yeah, because now what's happening each turn is we take... Four, but gain two, so we take oh, a two. Oh, right. This is the thing that makes a thing a copy of a thing. Oh, yeah. Okay. The flip side of that thing isn't that good. Yeah, it yeah, is yeah, a divination yeah. on the front side. So, yeah. like, obviously it doesn't have to be. Right. Uh -oh. Here's the plan that we play this Eater Days. We mill over the vampire and we really get him. Yeah. I think our other vamp is, like, wow. On the bottom of our library. <laughs> oh, that's unlucky. <laughs> oh, look. Is that Dawn of... Wait, it's not playing Prancy anymore. It's Cube, Cube ch champ Champions, the thing that used to be playing Prancy. Sorry, I'm bad with names. But anyway, Dawn's famous now, just so you know. Mm, nice. Mm -mm. This is the thing that makes a thing that copies other thing. Yeah, you, you get it. It's Cube Champions, gotcha. Sorry. So. Unlucky, Didact Echo. Why is that unlucky? Well, I assume we, I would. I don't really like that we're milling off the second. Oh, I echo, see. But, okay, that's yeah. fine. Uh, this. Yeah, vanilla five four. It's fine. Do we want to make it a six five? Oh, that's very good. Okay. I think I do actually. Yeah, I'm in. I just want the counter. You can't spell Don without Don Giovanni. Wait, I think that's the other... I think you wanted that to be the other way around. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I don't know that that's the most logical thing I've ever heard you say. Because notably it's false, is the thing about it. Other than being false, it's kind of true, though. Mm, yeah. Hmm. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, our opponent's name is is, is something. Yeah. <laughs> mm. God, that land is just so weird. <laughs> like, why is that land the way it is, Greg? And like, what does it have? Uh oh. Uh. Well, that is just an eight eight. It also mills us out. Is what it does. Wait, we mill. Oh, equal to its mana value. 
Uh, that's terrifying. Well, yeah, but obviously there's not much we can do about it aside from just, like, win, right? Yeah, let's play didactic, though. Yeah. Like, I don't really know the answer to how does the card change up. Wait, you should attack with both our creatures, I think. So, yeah, if they eat this... They have to chump the other thing else they're dead on our upkeep. Yeah, okay. Seems kind of good. Okay. Mission accomplished. Surely the most logical thing Zax has ever said is also false. Yeah, reasonable argument. Also, now we stopped a thing from becoming the Ancient One, which is super nice, right? Like oh, this all, that's true. It worked out really well, I think. I mean, we might still get decked, but I think it did work out well. God, we're going to get decked in with these triggers on the stack. Okay, well, they discard a land. That's very good for our... Well, I mean, they're also worried about death, presumably, right? Like, yeah. I mean, our, our consuming Spelunkers? Yeah. Spul 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 spulcher? Consuming Spulcher? Uh, okay, our consuming... Oh, nice. Great. Kill their thing? Uh, there is counter unless you pay four, uh, but yeah. Okay, well, we can famously pay four. So, fire it off. Oh, wait, even if they mill us out with these on the stack, they, it's, uh... That doesn't work, yeah, That doesn't right. work, nice. But I don't know why they would do that when they could, or I see, because it's on our key before I see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, that's reasonable, that's reasonable. I mean, two is not a lot of CMCs. I like that in this situation, scrying is arguably better than drawing a card. Ooh, it sure is. Okay, I mean, that, that doesn't really matter. Oh, I guess they can flip well, it they're then? they're gonna flip it, yeah. Okay, so they, they go to one, but that doesn't, that doesn't change the clock. They I go to one, they flip the it, clock, they go to yeah. two... And then, then they die. I mean, yeah. <clears throat> Go. I mean, it, it seems pretty hard for us to lose from the position. It's not impossible. Nice. Nice. How much damage do you think Consuming Spulture dealt that game? Quite a lot. Like, it's like over 10, right? Yeah. I guess we were just hating and doubting on Tipping Blade, and it did just, like, crush our opponent. Would you say that it... it... Would you say it's the Blade? No. Would you say that it tipped the Haters and Doubters? No. I'm still a Hater and Doubter. Hater and a Doubter. Yeah, it, it's basically Ill-Gotten Inheritance. I mean, but there just was a card in Kaldheim that was ill-gotten inheritance without the six-mana ability, and it just, like, wasn't that good. Well, yeah, but, I mean, this one comes with they sack creature yeah, on the yeah, yeah. But I, what I've learned is the crafting with a creature is pretty awkward in black. There's just lots of ways to, like, it, yes. it lowers your descend, and we just, like, even in our deck, like, we have lots of ways to abuse things in the bin. That is true. Anyway, let's keep. Keep. Well, the only thing about Dogged Pursuit, though, also, was that it was in a really fast format. That's true. Like, these cards are at their best in decks where you can use the life gain to help stabilize and then turn the corner hard because yeah. they're taking damage. And, like, in Kaldheim, like, that, those decks didn't really exist, and they definitely didn't exist in black, which was a very aggressive color. But, yeah. Nice. Well, we sure are doing nothing, but we eventually will do lots. Yeah. Oh, the, oh yeah, they're so gonna kill this three three for four. They've never they've never abraded a creature quicklier. Yeah. Oh abrade it. Abrade it. Oh yeah. Oh mouse over it. Yes. Oh no. <laughs> we could bounce it. Yeah, we might do that. Eh, I wanna play Gnar. Yeah, I would play Gnar. Well I'm gonna attack. Cause if they like eat it with the one two, for example. Okay, how do you feel about me starting to refer to primordial Gnar as Gnar? Gnar? Yes. That's fine. No, notably after noted League of Legends champion, Gnar. Hmm, you lost me. I want to deadweight this. Yeah. And then maybe I want to start with Iceberg. Sure. That's reasonable. Wait, is it better to Titting Blade it and hold that weight? It's got to be. Well, I guess it doesn't have to be. Mm, now I definitely... Well, now we're deadweighting it. Okay. But I feel like 
dead weighting a thing we can dead weight and like we can tipping weight anything you know but sometimes tipping weight gets bad because they play a bad thing yeah later. i do love bognar not gonna lie real card from my childhood mm. wait do you want an alpha and then make a 6-6? Six, six? Or if they block this, we can make this? Yeah, I like that. That's exactly what I was thinking. I like that we could grow our Vito's Inquisitor, but we're just like, nah. Yeah. What will we discover? The Sage of Days! Great discover. Ray of Ruin? I, I mean, they're just dying, right? I mean, yeah. I want Ray of Ruin. Yeah. And then, oh, Flip. this. With the, oh, did we get an artifact in our bin? Yeah. We sure did. I mean, nice. we obviously would have used our map if we didn't. But this yeah. is fine. Yep. Wow, they're so dead. Yeah. Of all the opponents I've ever had, this, this particular opponent is not the most alive. Maybe they'll, like, get lost it. That would allow them to live. Get lost. Th th there's been a lot of discussion of get lost and constructed lately. Mm. It might do something. Do you um ever get lost on Sir Ginger, so that it becomes a misplaced Ginger? Oh, that is great. Okay, wait. We definitely should like stage a photo of us doing that <laughs> and then like tweet it out at Ginger. That's really good. <laughs> Like, it'd be pretty easy to stage, like, you just, like, play a Pioneer match with, like, Red Black Sack with, with Sir Ginger. Yeah, I guess. Versus, like, a Blue White Control deck with Four yeah. Get Lost. And then just, like, at some point in time, you just, like, take the screenshot. Mm-hmm. Mm, okay. Yeah, that, 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 that's fair. The it, it might be the case that the Blade can't really get worse given they were stuck on lands. That, that is somewhat plausible. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> hello. I'll, I'll hello them back and then mute them. Anyway, let's counter it. Yeah, because Greg irrationally hates it when people just are having fun and saying hi to him on Arena. Because Greg just hates fun, right, Greg? Yep. Yeah, you really just took that one, huh? Boo, fun. Look at how fun this card is. It was just countered. Yeah, so, true story chat, today, like... I'm just gonna play this. Yeah. Today, Jesse started posting a bunch about Blue Light Control to both our team Discord and other Magic Discords I'm in. Okay. And I, I was Did like... tell her to get lost? I was like, fine, I guess I'll make a Blue Light Control channel, but I don't condone any of this. <laughs> that was my response. Oh, good response. Like, I really thought we were going to get through the whole testing processes without making that channel at all. No! I mean, this doesn't really matter, right? Yeah. I mean, we have things that care about our graveyard. Anyway, Didact Echo? Yeah, we also have a 3 that draws a card. Greg, would you say that you are one of the things that cares about our graveyard? Yeah. Okay. I just wanted to clarify that. So wait, the other side's like a Bone Splitters, right? Yeah. So they could just like qu equip and five us. They could. Oh, wait, I guess they don't have a third land to do that with. It's three oh, to flip. Oh, they, they'd have to use their treasure. Oh, but then they'd... Yeah, no, they, they need yeah, to... Yeah, yeah, okay. They have to craft for the treasure. I see. Okay, I think we should using only Islands, Treasure Map, and, and Scry. I'm going to just play Treasure Map. I guess we're going to Scry now. Okay, yeah. you're right, you're right. This little plays around four Spike nicely. Remember Griff Vanguard. Which one was Griff Vanguard again? I guess I can't say I do remember Griff Vanguard is the thing. Is that the one with um training? Oh, the two one flyer? That like has training? Yeah. You know, I gotta say, training is not my favorite mechanic. Oh, it's just literal didactic from ABR, gotcha, okay. Mm. Oh yeah, that one. That card was good. It was a core part of the green-blue archetype. Not that I drafted that much. Uh, I'm going to join the dead list in response, I think. Why in response? Why not in response? Wait because them. let them attack. Like, maybe this will change some of their decisions. Like, I, okay. I don't know. There's, like, no reason to, like, give them the info, right? 
Like, maybe they, like, have a haste creature, but they're like, I'm not going to yeah, play it because okay. I, you know. Maybe, like, this would change their plays because the equipment. I... It's hard to even imagine how it could matter, but it also could matter. Oh. Nice. Great job. Top. <laughs> Wait, Greg, Greg, it's a Didact Echo Echo. Wow. And, of course, we have to play this so we can get them. Yeah, I do like getting them. One of the most playable AVR commons. I mean, that is, I think, reasonably true as a statement as statements go. It's annoying that they will have a moment to get us when we tap out for the scribe, but we definitely still should do it. I think so, yeah. That seems very good here. I want to keep it. Yeah. Hmm. Attack, mm -hmm. go. I would probably play the land, given that we're drawing two a turn and stuff. Even yeah, though that's no okay, exists. good point. It's just like, if they had Snow, I think it would have played and equipped it. If they top deck Snow, good beats. Yeah, 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 yeah. And hey, uh, name is Merc. Welcome to the stream and thanks for the follow. Wow. Is that Don's cat? Is Don's cat named Merc? No, his, his name is Murky. Ah, okay. I believe it's short for Merc Tide Regent. I see. That's fine. Yeah, sure. Weirdly, I I think we should probably draw the card before we play it. I want to like know what we want, kind of. That makes sense. I guess this scenario is actually the same as the Cavalier of Thorns Cure interaction. Believe it or not. And then just play Gnar. Gnar. My favorite League of Legends champion. Do you want to do you want to play a boomerang after that, Greg? I don't know what's happening. Should we play this too? Yeah, I think so. I mean, you, you were about like a wrath. I don't know. Yeah, I don't really know what I'm. We'll just like about. sit there treasure coving into a wrath. Well, and we're fine. not having this up, you know. I you mean, what you're, what you're saying is you're worried you might need to get them. Yeah. Is, is that is that accurate? <laughs> um, I want to draw iceberg. I like that. So save your days, craft a days into your hand. Yeah. Actually, I was thinking about this. Could have got him. So here is my question for chat. And it's a great question, don't worry. So let's say you were going to pick like a real life magic player. Like probably like a pro or a grinder or someone of that nature. Yeah. And this person, you are going to give the official title of Sage of Days. Mm. Who would you say is the Sage of Days? Draw? Yeah. Yeah. Like, like, who would you, who would, who would get the title of the Sage of Dates? I'm gonna attack. I like attacking and then doing all of our stuff. Like, play cremate, flip invert, iceberg, just all the stuff. Yep. Menendian. That's a not crazy answer. Wow, this is missed every time, and we have so many artifacts. Yeah, we're very lucky. Yeah. Anyway. I was wondering about, like, Noah Walker as the Sage of Days, for example. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. I have some interest in offering here. I mean, I, I don't think I really do. Uh, I guess you're right. See, the thing this is you, being, you and me, Greg, is you're really in a lot of rush and hassle to get them. I'm like, we'll get them when we get them, you know? It'll, it, it'll happen when it happens. Yeah, I'm about ready to declare victory. We officially ground our opponent to dust. Mm -hmm. We just, like, drew all three cards, cards trade off one for one a bunch of times, and now they're dead. That's kind of what she wrote. Nice. They kind of didn't do anything that game. Well, they, they sort of did. I mean, I don't know. We, 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 we played a lot of kill spells. Yeah, I guess that's true. Like, I, I think that, like, many limited aggro decks are just not that strong if you play, like, three or more kill spells in, like, the first five or six turns. Yeah. It's not a first move to have the card grind to dust. I, yeah, mm. classic. I really like the card cling to dust. Mm. So you think about that card is... That if they grind you to dust, you can cling to that dust. Right. So yeah. it's a really good against against grind to dust. Yeah. Mm -mm. 
I, I like that we um we saved the saved it for next game, you know, like the fanatical offering. <laughs> We're gonna it's gonna be one of the cards we drew because we saved it for next game. That is true. It's <laughs> remarkably hard to cling to dust. <laughs> I mean, that's true. I feel like the stream has been above average on nonsense. Yeah, it definitely has. Oh, look, our opponent's name is the Old Man Zillion, another okay. league reference to go along with Nar. Wow, I I just get none of them. Yeah, it's fine. When 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 they have the direct to modern set, you know, Legends of Runeterra, yeah, which I, I assume what they will call it. Yeah. Like, y I will explain all the references. Nice. I'm excited for the Marvel set. Maybe I'll know some things you don't. That that is likely. I'm just biding my time to the DC set, though. Also, it was, God, in my status of an influence as an influencer, I would like to talk about how much I legitimately loved the Marvels. Like, it's one of my top five MCU movies, is what I'll say about it. Like, I, I just thought it was an excellent movie, and I loved every second of it. Okay, wait, I just want to use my status influ- What the hell does that thing do? It's a big vehicle. When it attacks, you make a treasure and, you and gain future sight. future sight until end of turn. Well, that card's extremely good, but whatever. Well, let's play Sage of Days. Yeah. Nice. So, what I was going to say about Old Man Zillion is... This, I think? Well, wait. The boat costs four, right? Oh, you want to counter the boat when they play it on fire? I don't know. It seems reasonable Notably, to me. wait. This can exile a vehicle. Oh, okay. So maybe we should take a different thing and that thing... And, like, this can trade with the boat, too. Like, yeah, okay, you can take Gnar. I, I want to take Gnar. I'm fine with that. Um... Hmm. All right, I have a new plan. What, kill every creature they have? Yep. I like this plan. Oh. Anyways, so what I was saying about Old Man Zillion is, when when I played League, I gotta tell you guys, Santa Zillion, one of my favorite all-time skins. It's a mm. great skin. It is it is wonderful. Anyways. Yeah, killer thing. No, I wanna play the 5-2. Do you? I guess they still get the trigger. Well, no, so if they play a creature, crew will just block, right? I mean... They'll get a treasure in future site, but they already played a creature, like... How they could like how what's the crew what's the crew number on that thing? Three. Hmm. So like spend three mana for a thing, crew it and cast it. I mean, but I just like I'm not even sh like like you're sort of claiming that you well. Yeah. Okay. We can play Farmer Mar. It's a five two. Yeah. I what if I want to play it, but then I'm not sure I want to block. That's totally fine. Okay. Let's see it. Let's see how they act. Because like they are dead in two. By, yeah. like, by some metrics. Hmm. And hey, Ho Chai's daddy, Ho Chai's daddy 69, whatever that was. Welcome to the stream and thanks for the follow. Um, okay. This is a little odd. Um, well, we could just shoot the vehicle now and attack with all our creatures. I think that's what I want to do. Okay. Well, the, the problem is that if we raid the 2-2, two -two, mm -hmm. they can crew the vehicle and then, like, we don't have great attacks into yeah, it. Yeah. I, I think I just want to kill the vehicle and not get fancy. Yeah. I like doing this. Maybe, maybe that's weird. I don't know. I. Uh, that might, we should maybe bottom that. Why? We just have some stuff to do, and I'm not really sure. Eh, okay. We like double spell with the tithing blade. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. We'll, we'll we'll keep it. Also, like we might cascade into it like this turn. Oh, that's a good point. And then it will also be on. Like oh yeah yeah that yeah, all that okay, all seems okay, pretty okay, good okay. to me. Genius, genius. I forgot that we were just gonna cascade into it. And now I think you should hold the swamp, maybe. Agreed. You're like I don't know, just like. I don't love that if we take the other line, they crew the vehicle, and then, like, we attack and they block our 5-2 anyway, and then, like, we didn't get to attack the Sage of Days, and I, I just don't really know what we're, like, getting. I don't know. Okay. So, all their instants have rebound forever? Oh, this is the god. Uh. Yeah, that's the god. Okay. 
And then when it dies, it comes back after three turns. Yeah. Okay. Good to know. Alpha? I think so. And I don't know what I want to do after that, really. Um. I think I want a 6-6 six, six now. Yeah. I think so, too. I think I like that more than making them stack. And I guess we do have to lose our tipping blade to do it, but that's just okay, I think. Like, lose this tipping blade. Yeah. I agree. Let's make sixes. I mean, yeah. The issue is that, the, like, we don't have another really reasonable way to spend our mana. Like, if we play the Goblin School to make them stack, that's so medium. Yeah. And, like, if we could play this goal, if we'd somehow play this goal taker and flip, I would love that, but we don't have plan to do that. Sure. So, I think this all makes sense. Oh, wow, they hit a spell. We're so unlucky, Greg. If only one someone here could have warned me about how unpleasant this blur mechanic was. <laughs> Hmm. Wow, they have so many Oaken Sirens. They really do. Anyway, Ooh. Badgers, both our creatures tap their Oaken Siren. Uh, I love it. Okay. I mean, now I just want to do this, I think. Wait, wait, wait. If we die to go and draw a land, we get to do both, right? That is true. And if we brick on a land, we can make them sack the 1-2 Siren. Wait. Wait, sorry. What are you saying? Oh, no, wait. Oh, no, that's true. We do, oh, we die center. Oh, we can only put... I see, I see. No, you're right. We should play... Because this is just on, right? Yeah, this, we should just play that. And then also, yeah. I think Tithing Blade them. Oh, yeah, definitely. I mean, I know it just hits a 1-2, but... Well, yeah, but, like, flipping it and finishing them off, like, through their god definitely, like, might happen. Although their also, god comes back... they're just Omega dead, too. Like, they're, yeah, they're I mean, dead. Yeah, I mean, Well, like, I was wondering if they, like, drew Chupacabra sure, or something. Sure, okay, yeah, Like, yeah, I don't know. I think they're, at most, regular dead, is, I guess, what I'm saying. Yeah. Yeah, by God does apply. Nice. Mm -mm. I like that our opponent's name is Old Man Zillion. They played a god involving time counters, and okay. then they easily beat it. Okay, does Zillion have to do with something about being a god and time? Yeah, he's all about time. Mm. See, here's the other thing about Zillion. He wears a giant clock on his back. Okay, I see. Because Is, is he, he young? No, no, he's very old. <laughs> nice. <sighs> Although maybe he's like ageless. It's possibly transcends time. Mulligan. Sneak. Eat. Tuck another chance, I think? Probably, yeah. I mean, it's a little weird to tuck your CA when your hand is like all kill spells, but like. Yeah. It's CA that calls creatures that we have none of. Like, it I sort of seems like that's what we have to do. We'll find some CA. Yeah. That actually might be good this game. I mean, it's just going to be... Oh, I guess this triggers it, huh? Yes. Nice. Also, in paper, Tithing Blade triggers it. Um. Mm, let's kill that. Yeah, Tithing Blade it. That thing is so tipped. <laughs> Out of all the creatures I've ever seen, I've never seen one more tipped. Yeah, so in paper, you just descend off their thing dying here. Yeah, right. Get the counter, and then you're all set. Mm. Well, I think we should double dead weighted. Yeah, I think so too. I do hate it, but I think it's right. You've seen some creatures that were a little more tipped. Like, have you seen like Tithe Taker or... Or I guess maybe Tithe Taker is left tipped because it takes the tithes. Mm. We are very smart. And, and also handsome. No. Unlucky. Smash? Yep. Mm, our hand is, you know... Let's put it this way. Out of all the hands I've ever seen, I wouldn't describe our hand as the greatest. Yeah. Notably, we can't cast a single spell. God, this is so bad against that. Uh, yeah. Oh, well, look. Well, it's... Well, I mean, if our top card's a land, we might be okay. Yeah. Agreed. We might need them to, like, not do anything too good and then our top card to be a land. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <sighs> Wait, this... If we take... Oh, no. This is really good. This is a... Jeez! 
Let's take give a, him a nice. Take idea. a game action, Greg. Is it play a five four? Um, probably not the game action I would have chosen. <laughs> yeah, the thing about the one three here is that it's not clear we could have beaten it without the dealing four. Uh, yeah. That instead of dealing is four. Uh huh. Yeah, that wasn't my favorite outcome of a game we ever participated in. Yeah, that's okay. We had a loss to give. We have another loss to give. I know. You can't 7-0. That's just giving Wizards of the Coast free money. What if What if my goal is to give Wizards of the Coast free money? <laughs> well, then, then you should 7-0 a lot. Maybe I'm just trying to support new 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 WotC employee in front of the stream, Abe Corrigan, in his mm. career. I didn't know he was a new WotC employee. Oh, he is. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. In fact, if you wouldn't mind also filling out one of those feedback forms and just stating that you only gave those losses away to, or you only didn't lose to to support Abe Corian, I think that would be very appreciated. You know. Mm -hmm. I guess I should have played Swamp here. This could not matter less. What if they play something Omega Scary and then we draw Joy in the Dead? Yeah. Then we'll cast Waterwind Scout. Well, I think we're not going to be casting Waterwind Scout. Yeah, maybe once they took it, we should have upkeep scribe. Yeah, I, but we didn't get a chance to think about it, is the sad thing. On Moto, we would have got a chance. Yeah. Hmm. Do you think you can have as a pirate? Or wait, does that not matter? No, it's a pirate. Yeah, okay. I mean, that has to be good. So what happens when they... That's... This is okay. I mean, it's definitely strong, but I, yeah. think, I think we still top. Agreed. Because we'll just play it and then play the scout. Yeah. I mean, I assume they'll start choosing the play the top card mode a bunch, is my yeah. guess. But, like, we'll just have to grind through that. I guess we're not incredibly close to being able to block that thing, huh? Yeah, it sure does have... I mean, I, we could just play this and... Oh, but then they could use target creature can't block, but that's probably a win. It genuinely is, even if it's still kind of bad for us. I hope, I sure we don't play any more pirates. Yeah, me too. Wow, the best possible hit, a land. Did they already play a land? No, I don't think so, right? Are we on the play? Maybe you're right. Classic, they already play the land. Get got. Hmm. I mean, I sort of feel that no matter what, we should play Vito's Inquisitor, and I'm trying to decide if then we should use Treasure Map or Sack. What if we play Didactic? <laughs> Why? Um. Because, okay, if we play Vito's Inquisitor, they're just going to make it so our thing can't block, and then we're going to take... Okay, but in your line, what do you think is going to happen? Well, we've done the more mana efficient thing, and we've drawn a card. I mean, it's not more mana efficient. We spend all our mana either way. I guess that's true. Maybe we should just make a 4-4. Four four. Or maybe it's important to just get the treasure map going. I don't know. Uh, How do we feel about trading this for the, the, the volcano? I think... Okay, I think you're right. Let's put that again. I've come around. Okay, I want to play... Mostly because I want to trade it for their 3-3. Well, yeah, this, I mean... Which right. they, I think they just will. Yeah. And I'm going to attack. Yeah, yeah. We ain't blocking. Yep. What we're doing is losing. Well, that's true. We you say that we're also cruising for a bruising... Well, they did pre-combat another land. That's true. Hmm. That is not my favorite outcome. I mean, I think our opponent's just playing like a treasure is what I, I'm assuming is happening. Oh, oh, God. Oh, God. That's another pirate, huh? Well, it also just is eight goddamn damage. Yeah. It's a uh, we're dead angle. Playing this land, man, our opponent's playing this game really poorly and it's just not going to come even close to mattering. 
Um, I mean, it was kind of an, oh, we should have lost Geek's card. Oh, let's concede. Yeah, I mean. Why, why did they play Vasher in a four league? They shouldn't have played Diggs like Conservator pre-combat. But and then, then this wouldn't have had haste. No, it would have off the treasure, right? No, because it's an attack trigger. Oh, wait. Mm. Okay, never mind what they did. made sense. Sorry, I didn't. I somehow thought the treasure was already in play, but that makes yeah. no sense. <coughs> well, there they come with the land because they realized they were just going to do all of those things and not care about the top card. And yeah. That was probably pretty reasonable, I guess. So let me ask you a question, Greg. If mm -hmm. you play a dead weight in a creature and then you play second dead weight, can you refer to the second one as a buried weight? A buried weight? <coughs> yeah. No. So then the creature would be dead and buried. Yeah. It's just, it's dead or weight. Mm. Dead. It's I don't dead really care for a dead or weight. It's dead height. How about like dead depth? Mm. It could be dead depth. How dead, about like dead density, maybe? Dead pH. Hmm. That's a good one, yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. I mean, I think we should just do the thing. So I think Blink doesn't really get better. Yeah, exactly. The flavor text on Deadweight is great this time around. I don't think I've read it. I'll make sure to do so. Uh oh. Uh, I oh. mean. Yeah, we just play our thing. We can back Thunder on Archer if we want to, and yeah. we want to. Kellen, why are you the way you are? Wow, and they drew a card. It's fine. I mean, it's a card of a color they don't have. Yeah. I mean, everything's fine. Bounce Kellen. I think so. Yeah, I think so. And then I would pre-combat use the map. Yep. Do, Do you want to not attack? Yeah, I was thinking. I about actually that. want to not attack. Okay. There are three different things that can get us. Okay. There's Gideon's Reproach, there's the Uncommon that deals five, and there's Quicksand Whirlpool. Yeah, you're right. That makes sense. Uh, mm. I think I would have been this because of Tithing Blade. Yeah, I was thinking the same thing. Okay. Also, just like we're probably not playing next, so we're probably going to play. Oh, Marvel and Marvel. it gives a counter on this. Yeah, it's, it's, it's just like great for like 100 yeah. reasons. Kilmerman, I think if you have problems with player texts, directing them to our math is unlikely to solve those problems. So now do we want to attack? We still get got by some of those cards. No, no, I'm good. Just play the seagull? Yeah. Yeah. I also, given that they have priority, the the, the Saw Blades card makes a lot of sense here as a card for them to have. Like, they just have something. Yeah. I don't know which it is, really, but, like... Hmm. Okay, not my favorite. Anyways, block. I'm gonna block. It's fine, we just cascade into the kill spell here and we just destroy them. Yeah. Hmm, honestly not bad. But I do like Delphi Scry, yeah, I'm with you. But not, we're not trading. No, 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 no. that's insane. Yeah. I mean, we will at some point kill the Geist of Larcimus, right? Like, we're not... How much ward does it have? Just one? Yeah, it's, it's, it's barely ward. Hmm. Well. I mean, I... we could cast that. We also flip our Titan Blade. I want to cast this. We have the... We can at least play Yeah, okay, you're right, I'm in. This snar, I think. Yeah, I like that. When do you think he's going to turn into Mega Nar? Mm, in a minute. Mm -mm. Keep in mind that he can't control the transformation. That's good to know. I I'm just going to keep making League references that Greg is 0% to get. It's great. Yeah, it's great is one word for it. Chad, don't worry. If, if you like, we can discuss the upcoming Weibo T1 game. I have some thoughts. Anyways, um... Okay, bash. 
I guess maybe bashing's bad, but it seems good. I want to bash and play Gnar. Yeah. At some point, we can also fanatical offering maybe away our tipping blade. I don't know. Whatever we, whatever. Yeah. We... Also, are we scrying upkeep again here? I guess so. I think so. Yeah. Are we losing? I don't know. Maybe. Seems like we're like a little losing. What are the chances that Zeus picks Nar in Game Five of the Finals? I think not incredibly high, but not zero. It has just scried three lands to the bottom, which is nice. Yeah, basically it's draw six. Ooh. Wait, wait. So okay. So now we could. I think maybe we should fanatical offering. Wait, what if we dead weight a flyer and then attack an alpha? Well, wait, wait, hold on. Okay. So why? What are you trying to achieve? Well, that gives us descent. So if they block, like we get like to surprise descend them, but then we just trade. I guess that doesn't really matter. Because what I was going with this is, what if we fanatical offering our treasure token away, and then if we and then we can always map on the echo of dust, and, map, and then we can maybe push out of range and dead weight. Okay, wait. I want a fanatical offering a blade. I think. Actually, I like that more. Let's do that. Okay. That also gives you guaranteed the, the, the thing as well. Yeah. Okay. Well, now I assume we just did wait the Waterwind Scout and attack. I think so. And then maybe cast Dagger Cove 2, actually. Maybe, yeah. Do we, wait, do we want to explore onto the, um, the, the Life Linker? Well, I think we should only do that if we're not, I, I don't want to sack that many treasures. I also still think they have a Gideon's Reproach type card. Which is fine. I don't mind the attack. But... So I just want to attack and play die attack then, yeah. Okay. I don't want to explore. I mean, I think the Exhibit Gideon Approach makes exploring much worse, right? Yep, there it is. Yep. Which I assume we're our life linker, but it's still fine. Yeah. Our 3-2 flyer will stabilize us to a significant extent, I think. And we're going to use... Uh, just use... A regular treasure. treasure is strictly better, right? <laughs> yeah. It's insane that it just immediately goes to, do you want to sack your creature? Yeah. Like, that's a maniacal default. Yeah. Mm -mm. Yeah, I mean, I admit that Blade Wheel Chariot might be a problem for us this game. We'll see. Hmm. Well, that doesn't really work. I mean... I mean, it gives them... It doesn't really work with this, right? Yeah. Yeah, like, it just keeps letting you change the target, essentially. Yeah. Okay, Petrify really works, though, in the sense that it will kill us. Oh. Oh, God. Okay, That's... update on things that really work. That one really works. Yeah. Okay, I guess we're dead. I mean, we shouldn't concede, but yeah. this is very bad. Okay, we should, so we Sage of Days, then draw? I guess so, yeah. Yeah. I mean, if we draw a kill spell here, we might be alive. M maybe. Okay, wait. Hold on. So... I think we need to deadweight the Echo desperately. Oh, that makes sense. So I think we should just take deadweight. Yep. Yeah. Uh, and then word. draw. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Name is Merc. We uh, we discovered that quickly. I would say. <laughs> I would say we were briefly unaware of it. And then, do you wanna? We should like try to put a puzzle encounter on our flyer. I think. I think so. Yeah. Yeah. That's fine. Yeah, I like that. Do you want to put another puzzle encounter anywhere? I guess not really. I don't think so. So wait, what does this become? It becomes a 5-5? Five, five? Yeah. Jeez. So we could put it on here so that when we double block... It doesn't have haste, right? Uh, oh, that's true. Okay, yeah. Good. Let's... We should play land, by the way. Agreed. This falls into my general... If you're drawing two cards a turn, you should probably just play every land. Yeah, 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 yeah. Rule. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, I mean, I admit that the Blade Wheel Chariot might just demolish us. Yeah. Mm, That's fine. Block. Yeah. So 
So what if we started with our map? I like that. Yeah, I was coming to the same conclusion. Well, you see, Greg, it's a little complicated. Mm, great. Yeah, I agree with great. So now we draw that card. Uh, we could just hang. Oh. But... Well, wait, don't you... Wait, no. Do you want to kill the 2-3 they have and then get our thing back? Oh. Yeah, I probably do. Okay, then I think we should draw a card. Okay. I guess in my head I was going to use it with, um, just use it on this, but probably using it on that's better, huh? I think so. I mean, I think it's a 4-4. Four, four. Yeah. And it can just attack if we want to. Yeah. Wait, who's the beatdown? Do we attack for six? For eight? Yeah, for eight. I mean, what is the crew condition on that thing? It's it's two, two one, or two untapped artifacts. I, I like attacking. I think I, attacking for eight is good. Do, where do you want to... I want to do this. I don't know on whom. Um, maybe on the this one? Yeah, I guess the flyer is fine. Maybe on the menace guy? I have... Because it's no harder idea. to block. Sure, whatever you... Uh, let's do flyer. I pick flyer. Okay. It's like, it's very hard for me to know because it seems like it's, it seems so irrelevant to me, is I guess what I'd say. I mean, that's a good that draw. That has to be a good draw, yeah. It's a 6-6 six, six that draws a card. And I mean, I acknowledge we're dead to like, I don't know, them crewing it and having a fun spell to kill their guy, but it's asking so much of their like two cards or whatever. Yeah, I, I, yeah. It's like pretty hard to imagine that, that we're actually dead. And like, if we're not dead, like, I don't know, they're, they're very close to dead. Yeah. Oh wait, do we have an artifact to craft, I guess? There's no way we don't, right? Yeah. Oh, there's some blades in there, yeah. I was just like, I don't know, we have 100 cards in our yard. Like, Yeah. You're telling me that not one of those cards can invert a goddamn iceberg? Mm, okay, very scary that that's the one they chose. Okay, so what does the one side of that one do? Oh, it, it's an explore machine? Okay, well, that doesn't matter. Nice. Okay. Whew. Ooh. That was terrifying. Yeah, I mean, we did almost lose, but we won. Nice. Mm -mm. I kind of can't, I guess I kind of can't believe it. That we won? I mean, we just, like, got to do, we, we stabilized and used Treasure Map, right? That's yeah, it. yeah, okay. Treasure Map drew six cards. It's right, three lands to the bottom, and drew three cards off treasures. That is true. Nice work, Treasure Map. Ugh. Treasure Map is kind of a brilliant design. It's just great. Yeah. It's flavorful. Like, it's not that complicated. It, like, plays really well. It provides interesting choices. It's 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 wonderful. Yeah. Honestly, I'm very glad to see it back. I'm a little worried it's going to be 200 power to see standard play. Uh, almost sad. certainly, yeah. But It's a little bit of an annoying card to play with in paper, to be fair. That's true. It has fable-related issues. Yeah. That's and, it. like, you got to remember to scry. Like... You gotta scry, you gotta transform it, it's tap. Like, I, I feel like it's just. You mean, like, kind of how, like, how you have to get out a, a treasure every time your fable attacks and a goblin token? Yeah. You have to remember to take it out of the sleeve to flip it. Okay, and, like... yeah, 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 yeah. To be clear, I'm not saying it's not annoying. Oh, baby. I'm just saying fable is more yeah. or less the most annoying imaginable card to play from paper. Yep. Hmm. Oh, that's annoying. Anyway, play this. Well, wait. What if we start to cremate because we might find a Tithing Blade? I guess we just do that next turn if we... Mm, okay, you're right. Oh, I, I remember it back in Standard. Don't, don't, don't worry. Mm. I was there. <laughs> hmm. I want to play this. Anyway. Yeah, me too. Cool. And I think I just want to explore on oh, yeah. it. Oh, yeah. Cool. If we're playing, it works for it. And then we're going to mill a vampire. Milling a vampire would be the best possible outcome. Trying to land is fine. Remember didn't, when I said... didn't Ali Jazzy famously came to Mithron? Yes. And it, it, that claim was immensely false. Um, <laughs> since, I mean, we just know who invented Tron. Take five. Mm, I think I have a plan. So we just can kill their guy. Yeah. For five mana. Yeah. Great plan. And scry one. Yeah. For the record, Tron was invented by Charles Kindy. It's, it's just a known... Well, like, sorry. Red-green Tron. The Tron that is generally best known was just 
factually invented by Charles Gimney in a Moto premiere event, in which he invented it to beat Blue White Tron in the in the mirror. I was actively playing at the time. I'm very confident that is what happened. I'm gonna play the Paladin. Well, uh, let's attack. First. Wait, I don't know that I want to play the Paladin. Let's attack. Like I can easily see like staunch crewmating and like fanatical offering our fa our blade and like spinning all our mana that it's way. It's a five four. They're stuck yeah, okay, on fine. lands. I want to get them dead. It was invented by Elias Tron in 2003. Cl classic Elias Tron. I, I like that you went with the first name Elias. Okay. I mean, this is going to be fine. I think that card is just bad. Yeah. card is has a lot of text on huh? yeah okay, whatever you want to start with the staunch crewmate yeah i like that you got a sub a light yeah it's been a two minute two one all league uh i think you don't want to just bash and play all our creatures well i'm wondering about playing this and then doing this because it it'll grow this yeah but like yeah that's probably foolish i would just play all our things okay what i like about it is then we'll have more things did that convince you? It did. I mean, obviously, something, something, Staunch something, Crewmate... Something, get him. Staunch Crewmate's obviously not its best in blue-black. Yeah. I, I certainly acknowledge that, but, like... I don't know. We have a lot of artifacts. Our deck has a pretty decent number of artifacts. Yeah. yeah. And we did cut some of them at the end there, but it's still pretty decent. Yeah. That's kind of annoying. Oh, great. Didact Echo. Okay. How about Alpha? Yeah, okay. I'm down to Alpha. They can eat a thing with a thing, and that's fine. Mm, I mean, we're going to finagle offering the thing they block. Right! We get to get them! So... <laughs> My favorite game activity! Also, I like this puts the fear of God in them. Yeah. Look. I mean, they're mana screwed. They can't really play around it, but... Oh, I don't think they should. I mean, I would always, like... We also, I think, in this spot, would not be unlikely to just trade a 2-2 two -two for 7 damage. Like, that's yeah. a pretty... Well, it is only for uh, 2 damage, but... Well, okay, but still. Greg, your moment. We got him! <laughs> okay, now we can direct to a plus dead weight. Yep. Wasting a descent trigger, but it's fine. Notably, because, like, we're hideously yeah, yeah, far yeah, ahead yeah, and yeah. can't possibly yeah, lose. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I don't think that's going to be cast this particular game. We're saving it for next league. We got the trophy! Woo! We remain un... un, 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 un we've I would seven to every draft. Yes. We played. We're un un -trophied. We've We've gotten the, the optimal record of seven two. Yeah, we, we never don't trophy here at System Magic. Yep. And, but anyways... And it was nice that the last few games... I was worried that, like, you know, we were going to have to end early, but the last few games just took a long time. So now we can end at a semi-normal hour? A semi yeah, a little bit of a quick stream, but I would like to end early. No, no, I think Mostly this is fine. Mostly because our stream yesterday went super late. So we will be back tomorrow with some sort of constructed. Uh, I think likely Pioneer with a new set, but I don't have an incredibly specific plan just yet. It might be more of Fable Green. It might be not. I'm not <laughs> sure yet. Uh, yeah. it will, it may, it'll may also depend on my, my, my particular mood. Um, but, let's, yeah, so where are we going to send him? Let's go say? here. I oh, that great place to go. Okay, nice. We're going to go raid Connor Man. Do love raiding Connor Man. Um, who seems to be playing some uh, Constructed with a Lost Cavern set. So if you're watching on Twitch, enjoy Connor Man. If you're watching on YouTube, uh, be sure to like and uh, subscribe to our channel below. Let us know how you feel about big numbers and getting them and other related topics in the comments below. And yeah, we'll see you tomorrow for some more constructed content. Hope you enjoy drafting Lost Caverns of Ixalan like we have been. And uh, we'll see you tomorrow. System Magic out.